56% of you don't fucking subscribe. So I'm gonna ask you right now. So let's go. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another motherfucking I Vinyl. We got a very special episode. We got motherfucking Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love, the Walmart Baby Blue, Baby Boy Blue Edition. I kind of just saw this at Walmart. I was looking just for some colored prints, and I thought I'd pick this up. Great addition to the Gambino collection, another special print. But if you guys have stopped by High Vinyl before, you already know what the deal is. We're gonna rip this bowl before we get into this review. On this channel, I review vinyl, stoned as fuck, and I smoke while I review. And I don't give a fuck about the YouTube guidelines. They can suck my nuts. Let's get right to it. All right, everyone. I hope you're smoking along with me. Hold on, I gotta take a drink before I rip. Love you guys. Hope you're smoking along with me. Cheers, everyone. Oh my god, my lungs. Um, let me know in the comments what your most recent vinyl pickup. Throw the plastic on the floor. Here we have the cover. Iconic cover. Here we, <coughs> here we have on the back. Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love. 11 tracks on here, but here we have the poster slash sleeve. Uh, it's like the cover lady, but from a different angle and different lighting. Uh, on the back it has a track list and production list for credits. Not very many credits. Shout out to Donald Glover and his team. They kill it with such a small team. Here we have the opening. Oh shit. <coughs> oh my god dude. Oh shit. Right here we have the actual record on the front of each side you can see the track list of each side of the record and it's all in blue like blue background yellow like I don't know what kind of text you call that like neon sign text or whatever I don't know but this looks very similar very very similar to my Starboy. Uh, blue one, which I also did a review on. So let's bust that out and compare it to the Awaken My Love blue. Let's see how baby blue it actually is. So here we have the Starboy one. This one's beautiful, man. This one's gorgeous. I did a uh, I did a high vinyl on this recently. Uh, go check it out. Off the bat, they look almost identical. I don't know if you can see both of them, but they look almost identical, except when I put them in the light. This one is a little bit brighter, just a little bit. Not very baby blue. The, the paper they used for the actual sleeve the record goes in is all right. Overall, I don't know if it's just Walmart with the handling that they have, but the quality isn't very good. It seems very lazy. I just dropped the record. But anyways, it seems like a very lazy attempt at making a vinyl record. I get that the blue is cool, but it's just not making up for what else the vinyl lacks. Let's throw it on the record player. Let's see how this shit sounds. Um, I'm excited. This is a great album by Childish Gambino. First, we're probably gonna start off with one of, probably, Childish Gambino's greatest song. Arguably his greatest song.
<coughs> I'm so big from that bowl. All right, due to YouTube's copyright, I'm only gonna be playing that song even though I'm already gonna be fucked with copyright. So, can't win out here. And I'll be age restricted also, so double whammy. But I don't give a fuck. I wanna provide the best content to you guys free uh, charge. And I don't want you guys to really give me a dime. Probably set up donations sometime down the road, I don't know. And if I do set up donations, a lot of the time I will do like special stuff for charities and shit. So I don't really care about the money. I don't know where I was going with this. Would I recommend the Awaken My Love vinyl? The baby blue, the baby boy blue. The answer is no, unless you want to complete a collection of Childish Gambino's Charles Gambino's uh, discography with all the colors, then yes, pick this up. But otherwise, no. This is not a great quality vinyl. They did a piss poor job. <sighs> Unless they didn't get any money for this, then I guess they worked with what they had. But it. G Class Note. Nick DJ Recordings. Um. I don't know about labels and shit, but if he signed to a big label, or if he was, like, way, what, what went wrong? What lack of care went into this? With that being said, I'm going to rate this a 5 out of 10, solely off the fact that all the, all the music off this album is great, and the blue is pretty cool, even though it's not baby blue more of a sky blue it's almost exactly like my star boy one just a little bit brighter but that just might be my lighting it could just be the exact same color and the star boy vinyl is way higher quality and way better just in general so i'm sorry awaken my love for being such a low score but it is what it is i'm gonna let you guys get on out of here don't want to hold you here for too long so you guys like more of the editing upgrades and like production just being amped up. I'm starting to put way more time and effort into editing these things. So, I love you motherfuckers. Stay high and goodbye.